Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Pikachu's apparently having a day. <clears throat> okay, so we have six badges under our belt. Uh, and there's only a couple of places left on the map that we have not gone. I think it is time to go surfing. Surfing, you say? Now, haven't you gone surfing already? Well, yes, but we haven't gone surfing on the open ocean. And that's what we are about to do. So let's go ahead and go heal up, because that fight against Sabrina was not the easiest thing in the world. We are at 98 Pokemon in the decks. Doing pretty good, but we still have plenty left to go. Luckily, on our way to our next location, there are plenty of Pokemon. I've been keeping an eye on the Pokedex and on uh, the Pokemon that we can... Whoops, I went the wrong way. The Pokemon that we can expect to see on the way. Still a couple Pokemon I have not seen yet, and the main one is Abra. I think I know where to find an Abra. We also still have yet to find a Scyther, and we have to do a lot of trading in order to get a bunch of Pokemon that are not actually available uh, normally in this version. Unfortunately, uh, I was planning on uh, trading with someone in, uh, in particular in order to get me some of these missing Pokemon. And I have not had a chance to meet up with them. Okay, why is this going to the right? Okay, some Tentacool. I see some Tentacruel. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead... Pull out Venusaur. Venusaur hasn't been in our party for a while. But I think we have a good reason to lead off Venusaur because we're going to be facing uh, almost exclusively water Pokemon for a while. I saw a trainer up there. I never figured out how this was supposed to work. So we're in the middle of water. And apparently we're going to have a Pokemon battle. Like... What, what what are we supposed to be doing? Like, you you see them standing on the. Did, did we find just a convenient set of of like a sandbar to work on? I guess. So I believe that just about every Pokemon that we face uh, on this route are all water based Pokemon. So Venusaur is just going to sweep constantly, which is actually really important because Venusaur is going to be part of our uh, our final set of Pokemon, what we're going to challenge the Elite Four with. So I need to make sure that we, uh, that we level Venusaur up. Pikachu, Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, and two more. If you didn't guess that that was going to be how I was going to set things up, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. Made it pretty obvious. Generally, Pidgeot would be part of my setup, but um, that was originally a thing that I did because you kind of had to have a flying Pokemon back in yellow and blue, or yellow, red, and blue. Uh, honestly, you had to have a flying Pokemon straight through until you, until uh, Sun and Moon. And now, that's not really important anymore. Can you not bitch slap me? I'm noticing that the, uh, the sound seems to be slightly off sync. Hmm. Kind of weird. Okay, I saw someone over here. What is that? Is that bubbling up to the up left? So we're seeing a lot of water Pokemon that we have not yet had a chance to actually snag. Water and ice, specifically. 
Uh, we will be actually picking those Pokemon up a little bit later on this episode. Or next episode, I'm not sure how long, uh, how long the travel's gonna take. It's kinda nice to be able to kinda sweep here. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of the, the suck that was the travel down from Lavender Town into Fuchsia. Yeah, can you not? Can you not try that? But I'm thinking of, like, how much that sucked to, to come down like that. And uh, how nice it is to not have to worry about that. Uh, nope. I will... I'll leave Venusaur out. Venusaur's doing just fine. Aqua Jet is the water-based uh, quick attack. Can't remember if we've seen it before. We've seen an electricity-based quick attack. We've seen a water-based quick attack. I think there's a fire one, too. Venusaur became fatigued. Somewhere, is that just... Oh, it's a... Okay. This route is kind of like... Is, is weird. Let me just look at the town map real quick. Okay, this route goes a lot further south than I actually expected it to. Okay. I swear, these Pokemon are trying to get me. I do want to... I love what you're writing. You'll give it to me if you if I win, right? No. What are you thinking? First of all, you're not going to win. Second of all, why would I... What, what are we? Racing for pink slips? Okay. I feel, I feel I feel a little bit out of it today. That's why I'm not talking much. I uh, have not been sleeping well recently for reasons that I don't understand. Uh, so instead of doing the things that I intended to do today, you know, I got up, went out, did some stuff, came back, and then put my head down. It was supposed to be just like a four-hour nap to kind of make up the hours I didn't sleep. Turned into uh, a ten-hour pass out. Just was too tired to get up by the time that uh by the time I was normally supposed to get up. Came out to go uh play D D, completely forgot that D D was cancelled for this week. So I'm I I feel out of it. My uh My scheduling and planning is kind of all off. This this route's always been kind of weird. Because of the whole, like, like these folks that are literally just sitting here, like swimming in the middle of the ocean. You know, we're a we're a reasonable ways off the actual coast, and that is why I want a Venusaur to have Absorb. Or something similar, at least. You'd think Vaporeon would be a little bit stronger, given that it's in its element. That'd be an interesting thing to have in the game. There are some Pokemon that have, you know, moves and abilities like Sunny Day and things like that. That if this is going on, these moves are stronger. Goldeen hits 29. Rhyhorn hits 35. Staryu hits 40. Kind of expecting, uh, we don't need recover, thank you. Kind of expecting Staryu to level up here, or to evolve here. Hmm. Do a quick double check here. Ah, Staryu's a water stone. I don't always remember. This sound desync is driving me nuts, and I don't know where it's coming from. I'm looking at, like, I can tell it's not from the computer, so I'm wondering if it's the system. Because I woke it up from a... 
you know, suspend recently. The intersection is named the core. People think it's communicating when it glows in seven colors. I see one color. Okay, well, that's Starmie. Okay, so what is next? Got the Rapidash, got Dodrio. Still working right on. Well, I guess it's time for Magikarp. I was trying to avoid this, but you know, I don't always have choice on my side. Hi, you. What's beyond the horizon? Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow? Hey, look, there's a thing I'm trying to get. Maybe we can get a red one. Nah, you're so silly. You're not playing gold and silver. So today we learned that Venusaur is the slowest plant toad on four legs. Which is fine, because Venusaur also gets all of its health back. Ah, uh, pedal dance. Just be done with it. I find it so weird. Isn't Gyarados dragon type? I think it is. Gyarados is. Charizard isn't. I, I swear that the Pokemon Company was responding to uh, to fan comments when they gave Charizard's me uh, Mega Evolution uh, Dragon type. They're like, you know what? You guys have been saying this for years. I guess we'll finally listen. Okay. Already dealt with you. Already dealt with you. Okay. This is about as south as we can go. So let's kind of start making our way west. I have no interest in most of these Pokemon. I mean, we already have most of them. You know, I don't legitimately remember the route being this wide. Like, I could have sworn back in the day the route was, like, wide enough that you could see it on one screen. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was this wide. But I remember, you know, I remember it being just, like, again, just wide enough that you could see it on one screen. Let's get our health back. I love self-healing. I really do. But... I like self-healing in an attacking ability. That's why I don't particularly like Roost or Recovery. You know, it's it's one thing to gain 100 health. It's another thing to gain 100 health and cause them to lose 100 health. That's a 200-point swing in the combat as opposed to a 100-point swing in the combat. Unfortunately, some... Some Pokemon types don't have access to that. Like, I don't think fire or electricity have access to uh, damaging moves like that. Okay, so the question is, where am I? These are the Seafoam Islands. Okay. Hey, what's up with you? Po friendly Pokemon delivery service. Potion delivery service. Okay. Oh, neat. Did they just heal my Pokemon? Neat! That's incredibly helpful. Okay, it is time for us to go through the Seafoam Islands. Uh, do not need one of you, thank you. Which is where we will find our next set of Pokemon. Including Seal. So here's a wild seal. It's actually been a while since we've caught Pokemon. I'm actually thinking about it. Like, we haven't actually done any Pokemon catching in a couple episodes now. Urgh. Good thing I have a bunch of Pokeballs to go through. Uh, 
Oh my god, the desync is driving me nuts! I wish I knew what was causing it. That should have been an excellent. Like, that should have been an excellent. Okay, would you get caught, please? Like, I have better things to do than to sit here just throwing Pokeballs at you. There we go. Okay, so there's our seal. Got some courage candy. Got some experience. And sadly, we need another one. Loves freezing cold conditions. Relishes swimming in a frigid climate around 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Interesting to know. That, that's fairly cold. Why are you staring at a wall? Even when pushing blocks with strong push, Pokemon can get in the way. When that happens, they use repel, so I can get back to pushing with no problem. Hmm, so you say. So the question is, what will this do? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Great, I have to somehow get back up. Oh, wait. Seal! Come here. I need a second one of you. Oh, you jerk. Don't even with me. That's right, you batted away and I immediately threw another one. Like, I was, I was on point with that. That went way over your head. I'm, gu I'm gonna catch you. And one of you shall remain forever imprisoned in my Pokebox. There. And now it's you, because you were a jerk. Remind me, it's the one we've caught first that we need to evolve. <laughs> Got a seal candy at him. Okay, so there's a couple of other things that we need to catch in here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Super Appel, nice. So Pikachu is still all fired up, apparently. What's going on back here? Eh, I don't want to deal with that yet. Let's go back up. So if I remember correctly, this place is a... Oh. I'm not where I thought I was. There's a slow poke, though. Let's go pick that up. That's another Pokemon I don't have yet. And it's huge. I... God damn it. I, I mean, I like huge. Now, it's so slow. Can I just catch it before it knows it's in a Pokeball? Hey, it worked. In two and a half minutes, they, the, the slow poke jumps out of the Pokeball. Goldine grows level 30. Once you lo uh, learn agility, I think we'll pass on that. Okay. So it's incredibly slow and sluggish. It is quite content to loll about without worrying about the time. I'm sure it still thinks that it's in Pokemon Red. Uh, oh, hey, Jinx. Hello. Nice. Apparently, this is a tiny Jinx. Is Jinx, like, eight feet tall normally? I mean... Darn it. Timing was off. I want to go find that coach. The uh, Find that coach? I'm just... Uh, that was supposed to go to the left. There we go. Uh, god... Urgh. Okay, let's go fight this coach. Am I surprised to find a coach trainer there? No. You come here every single day. Of course I'll battle you. Why, why would you... If you don't like... Like, it doesn't seem like none of the coaches like doing what they do. Yas. Here comes a Jolteon. Neat, I guess. But I, I can't help but notice that it seems like the coach's bitch constantly. Man, you think about where I have to go? Well, then don't be a coach, then! Seriously! Like, I'm just... Nice. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking, like... I'm thinking of the people who who pick up mentor status in Final Fantasy XIV. 
Like, it's something you have to, not only do you have to specifically get, like, it's not something that, you know, is just given to you. You have to earn it, and then you have to choose to turn it on. Puts a little crown next to your name, but it also indicates that newbies should feel free to reach out for you for assistance. It also, you know, also you're expected to kind of help out, give advice where necessary, and people bitch about it. It's like, this is something you chose to do. No one forced you to do this. Uh, let's swap out to Haunter. No one, no one forced you to become this. And no one forced you to go into newbie dungeons and stuff like that. Like, you can just not do that. No one forced Yas to become a, uh, to become a coach. He did it of his own free will, and I don't want to hear him bitch. Poison gonna be doing some good work. And here comes Flare Blitz. Ow. So Flare Blitz is like a uh, really strong um, takedown style move for fire. So it does a crap ton of damage. Uh, I forget, I, I know it's a really high damage modifier, but um, at the same time, it also, uh, you know, you have recoil. If the damage is really good, I don't mind using a move like Flare Blitz, but I didn't, you know, I don't feel like the recoil off of, like, takedown is worth it. Here comes a Vaporeon. Uh, no, I need... Thank you. Need Venusaur. You never realize how, like, how much you rely on sound cues in a game like this until the sound is off. And then you realize, oh. Hydro Pump hopefully will not do too much. I mean, it is Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump has a really good damage modifier and the Vaporeon does get stab bonus. Well, it gets stab. The B count, uh, the B stands for bonus. Oh, hey. Thank you for not being uh, paralyzed anymore, Venusaur. I appreciate it. Now drain it again. Also, holy crap, my Venusaur is finally faster than something. I think Venusaur should hit level 42. God, affection is such a bullshit mechanic. I'm not upset about it. It's just affection is such a bullshit mechanic. <laughs> oh, God. There's some uh, there's some stuff here that uh, is not right. I don't know what it is. Occasionally, my dog just gets very interested in the smell of my microphone and decides to lick it. I don't know. Okay, Rose, you can stop now. Magikarp hits level 33, and we beat Yoss. And that should be a Magikarp evolution. Yep, there it is. That did not take long at all. I think it's a level 25 evolution. Hello, Gyarados. I used to think Gyarados was so cool as a kid, and we always wanted one. Brutally vicious and normally destructive, known for totally destroying cities in ancient times. And gonna learn Bite. And also Dragon Rage? Or just Bite? Just Bite. Okay, cool. You're gonna give me something special. We get five rare candies from this one. Beautiful. I do like having a whole bunch of candies, especially when one of those candies is a rare candy. Uh, yeah, I remember back in the day, like, we thought that, uh, you know, Gyarados was the absolute shit. And, uh, basically did everything we could to make sure we had one as early as possible. Gyarados did not turn out to be that amazing at the end of the day. I did not need this. Okay. Oh, I should probably put Gyarados away, huh? Okay, so who's coming out in place of Gyarados this time? 
Um, let's see. I guess it's seal. Okay, what's over here? I am I where I think I was? Like... I don't remember that guy being there, but is that... Okay, so this girl is here. Okay, I'm, I'm where I thought I was. For some reason... Uh, no. Oh, wait, is that a dugong? Or is that another seal? That is a dugong. Yeah, don't save me time or anything, you know? Oh, God, are we, are we doing... Are we now doing this? Okay, can I throw straight, please? There we go. Okay, so the uh, game wants to save me time. That's awesome. I always find it a little bit weird when the shadows are pixelated. Like, the shadow of the Pokeball is not pixelated when the Pokeball is just sitting there. Like, it's a perfect circle. Come on. But as soon as it, or like, when it's in the air or when it lands, it is uh, pixelated. It's so weird. Might have to give out a Nene Berry. Yeah. Let's, let's hand out a berry. Unfortunately, it does mean the Dugong is just going to be over there. But, you know. Come on. God damn it. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Uh. Like, the throws do not go where I want them to go. Dude, you're ridiculous. I did not throw right! I threw better than that, come on. There we go. Again, having having played a decent amount of Pokemon Go with, you know, the, the touchscreen version of this, the motion controls leave something to be desired. Rhyhorn hits level 36. It wants to learn Megahorn. I will absolutely let Rhyhorn learn Megahorn. Uh, we'll drop Sand Attack. That's fine. And Rhyhorn learned Megahorn. Okay, so here's our dugong. The entire body is a snowy white, unharmed by even intense cold. It swims powerfully in icy waters. Well, that's important because there's some icy waters nearby. Okay. Well, with that as a thing, that means that we can go ahead and add Slowpoke to the party. As opposed to that seal. But is Slowpoke a... No. Okay. Let's go ahead and push this into the hole. That may be important in the near future. It also might not be. Okay, what's over here? We still need that Jinx. Hi. I do have plenty of Pokeballs. Okay, thank you. Uh, we should probably also do the same thing here. Thank you, Pikachu, for being awesome. I think Pikachu's head starts hurting after doing this a while. And down goes the pillar. Downstairs we go. And hey, there's a Jinx. Okay. Let's go see if we can pick up that Jinx real quick, and that will be the last thing we do today. And hey, there's a Slowpoke right next to it, both of which I need. I'm reminded a little bit of the fact that we still have not gotten an Onyx. That kind of kind of annoys me. Come on, get caught. I don't want to deal with you anymore. God, we're gonna have a we're gonna have Pokemon that does stuff like this. Come on. Here, take that. Take one of these berries and call me in the morning from inside of your Pokemon. Come on. Yeah! There's our Jinx. 
So there's the newest member of the DK crew. Excellent. <coughs> the human-shaped Pokemon, if you say so. Appears to move to a rhythm of its own as if it were dancing and it wiggles its hips when it walks. Boy, that's weird. Okay, I think we're also going to pick up the Slowpoke. Just so I have that extra one in in my uh in my Pokebank. Prepared for whenever we are able to evolve this one. And hey, we get just an easy one. I swear, I think just that's just a thing that Slowpoke does. It's weird. Pikachu grows to level 55. Awesome. And there's another Slowpoke. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, when I see you guys next time, uh, the whole desync issue will be solved. We're up to 103 Pokemon, 47 more to go. At least four of which are legendary. I think four? Maybe three. Three of which are legendary. But we're getting there. We're getting there very, very quickly. I'll see you all soon.